So what about energy efficiency? Let's go into that in a bit more detail. Um, and it's worth noting that energy efficiency and sustainability are not necessarily the same thing. So again, if we go back to scope three, um, it, you know, scope three is very much a, a, um, a, a, a sustainability issue. You know, how much embodied um, carbon are we, are we, are we creating? Um, how do we measure it? And, and that's difficult right now. Um, the use phase energy efficiency is a different thing entirely. So what is data center energy efficiency? Well, it's, it's actually very, very elusive. You'll hear lots of people talking about energy efficiency in data centers, but very few of them, I think, are really hitting the nail on the head. Um, you know, some people are actually, frankly, completely wrong. Um, we tend to focus on PUE as a, as, as a proxy. Um, and obviously, I can't possibly do a, a, a data center presentation without talking about PUE, much as I hate having to do so, but we, we have to put it out there. Um, we do use PUE as a proxy in, in this, um, but um, as I repeatedly say, PUE is not, and never has been, and never will be, a measure of data center energy efficiency. Um, okay, so that said, um, and I'm sure someone somewhere is going to argue with me on that, but I know I'm right. <laughs> I'm going to be very pedantic about it. Um, what should we be looking at? Where, where, where is the focus? What is energy efficiency in the data center? Okay, well, let's just think about it. it, it you know, is is data center energy efficiency all about the building? Is the data center the building, or is it more than that? Surely, data centers are about the service that's being hosted within the building. It's not about the building alone. You know, if you've got no IT load in the building, the building doesn't consume any energy. The building merely puts a slight overhead, or it should be a slight overhead, um, on the uh, energy consumed by the IT load, um, and that is effectively PUE. So difficult challenge. How do we actually achieve genuine data center efficiency? Well, if what, we're, if what we're saying is true, if the data center is a service and the important focus is the IT load and the building is merely putting something of an overhead on the delivery of that IT load, then surely we should, we should be focusing on the IT side of things, the services, the compute, the storage, the network, and very importantly, the software that runs in our data centers. And I think the, there's a really important thing here that we are going to be scrutinized by regulators. We are going to be um, potentially legislated against. So how do we actually demonstrate to potential regulators and legislators that we're actually doing the right thing and following appropriate guidelines, et cetera? You know, because we are under the microscope. Don't, you know, don't misunderstand the, the media attention to what we are doing in data centers, you know, whether we're consuming too much energy or the wrong kind of energy or the wrong energy in the wrong places, you know, we are under the spotlight, um, make no mistake about it. So we are, again, as I said earlier, we do have a pretty large target painted on our backs. And so, you know, we are going to be forced to respond to this one way or the other. Oops too far so again as i've already said suggested pue is absolutely not the solution for data centers it's not the 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 way that data centers can reach net zero it's not it's not even the way data centers can re, you know re achieve carbon neutrality pue won't actually help us um so we, we we need as a sector to stop focusing on pue we need to get governments to stop focusing on PUE. You know, what they've done in Amsterdam in terms of putting the moratorium on, on buildings that are operating at, I think it's, what is it, one point, one, more than 1.3 PUE or something like that. I can't remember the exact details, but putting a moratorium on that is not helping anybody. It's not achieving anything useful whatsoever. So we need to educate our sector. We need to educate governments. We need to ex um, educate the public and we need to ex uh, educate the media as to what actually it is important. Um, you know, an energy efficient building with a low PUE is not necessarily an efficient data center at all. You know, if you've got a data center with a very low PUE, but the IT load is just spinning, doing nothing, that's hugely inefficient. It's, it's, it's serving no useful purpose. Um, and putting a data center underwater is a marketing gimmick. You know, it's not helping anybody. It's, it's just a distraction. It, it doesn't really make any useful sense. Yes, you're achieving a, a, a pretty good level of cooling. Uh, again, you're just moving it somewhere else. So that's not maybe particularly helpful. But at the end of the day, you're still consuming power on the IT side. You know, what's been done to reduce the energy consumption of the IT? As far as I know, nothing. It's exactly the same as it would be if it were in a building. So again, it's not energy efficient. It's doing exactly the same thing in a different way. Um, so I, I would suggest that the IT load and the equipment itself, the IT equipment, and that it does include obviously intervening network as well, 
it, it remains not just an elephant in, in the data center, it's an absolute herd of elephants rampaging through the data center, causing chaos. Um, you know, the more we focus on PUE, the, the less we are uh, potentially able to, to get a handle on, on the IT element and potentially even do something about it. So I'll give you an analogy. Um, I, I talk about the, the house, your house. Um, your house may be immensely thermally efficient. You may have triple glazing. You may have walls that are two feet thick full of foam. You may have loft insulation three feet thick. Fantastic. You have got the most efficient house on the planet. Uh, you might even describe it as energy efficient, depending on what you've actually put inside it. But if you've got a hot shower running all day in your house and nobody's using that hot shower, it's running for no useful purpose whatsoever, but it is absolutely consuming energy. It's also consuming water, by the way, which is another potentially precious resource, depending on which part of the world you're in. But if you've got this thing running all day, doing absolutely nothing useful. You cannot blame the house for being inefficient. You cannot blame the house for a lack of energy efficiency. And what we're doing at Data Sense at the moment is we're blaming the building for being inefficient, when effectively all we've got going on in the Data Sense at the moment is the hot shower running all day without necessarily being used by anybody. Um, you know, we've got IT kit, which is spinning, you know, uh, doing nothing potentially or is very low, use, very lowly utilized, you know, average utilization rates being what, 15, 20% possibly. Um, zombie servers aren't connected to, you know, even connected to network. We've got all those sorts of things going on. And yet we're, you know, navally gazing, focused on, our, on, on, on the building with PUE. Absolutely the wrong focus. So... When it comes down to energy efficiency, think about the house, think about the shower. I suggest the most useful thing you can do is actually turn the shower off and only have it working when you need it. Um, you know, it sounds a little bit simplistic possibly, but I think it's probably the right way to go. Um, really think about how your energy is actually being used, not just some proxy metric that is actually not really representative of, of, of what we're trying to achieve as a, as a sector or as an industry and certainly as a society moving towards um, you know net zero and, and net zero commitments.